Hi everybody, Joe Conroy, your financial advisor here with another update and another Hartford Retirement Planners pullover. I have enough of these to get us through this coronavirus thing, all right? Uh, but on a more serious note, I wanna talk about kind of what's going on right now and um, offer some kind of uh, guidance through this and I'll finish it with some facts and figures to kind of give you some expectations for what we're gonna look at going forward. Um, so I've gone through different analogies. You know, we don't want to jump out of the airplane because of turbulence. Uh, the wildfire from Australia, we start to see the forest coming back again in short order. And this will be about experts. So I am not a doctor. I am not an uh, expert in the field of uh, infectious diseases. So I'm not going to give anyone advice on what to do when it comes to medical treatment of this thing. But what I am going to do is follow the expert's advice. They have trained their entire careers and they've built um, uh, research around. So they know what they're talking about with how we can best handle this coronavirus pandemic. And what the experts are saying right now in the medical community is that we need to hunker down and we need to stay home and we need to do the self quarantine and we need to, um, you know, keep some distance and make sure that we're not spreading this thing around. It's the best thing that we can do right now. From an economic and a investment standpoint, we need to listen to the experts. Um, now, I have written for Wall Street Journal, Kiplinger. I've written a book about the topic, so I think that makes me an expert. And I'm not the only financial expert who's going to say this advice. Um, I think we need to hunker down. And that's been the strategy that's worked time and time again. Obviously, there's no guarantees, but. Um, Hunkering down is the strategy if you have a diversified portfolio and we are long-term investors. If retirement is this year for you, you're still long-term because we want that retirement to hopefully last, or at least we'll plan for it to last 30 or more years. We want your money to last longer than you do, right? So hunkering down is the right approach. Um, it's not always the easiest one. You know, we're all stuck at home and we're watching the news and none of it's very good right now. Uh, I know that and it makes it very difficult in times like these to do that. But that is what not just me, but the other financial experts are saying. Um, who is not a financial expert? Uh, your crazy neighbor on Facebook, not a financial expert. Your brother's college roommate who worked at a bank one time, not a financial expert. Uh, your daughter's boyfriend who works at the call center because he recently graduated from college at T. Rowe Price, not an expert. Um, I love T. Rowe Price. They've got great funds. I have a lot of employees that work at T. Rowe Price uh, as clients of mine, but that individual specific person, not quite an expert. So what, what kind of experts do you want to listen to when it comes to financial advice? You want someone who has been through market cycles like these, um, and has a vested interest in your success with your financial plans and your investments. Um, the reason, there's a lot of reasons, but you know, one of the reasons that these folks that I mentioned are not financial experts is they're not going to be around if whatever they tell you doesn't work. They aren't there to help you through this whole process. They just tell people whatever in conversations, and if it doesn't work, you can't call them and say, now what do I do? They'll say, well, I, you know, I didn't tell you to do that. I just shared this idea that I had or whatever the case might be. You understand what I'm trying to say probably. Uh, you're going to want somebody who is probably financially tied to the outcomes of the decisions that we make in this moment and in this uh, situation we find ourselves in. Um, I'm very optimistic, obviously, if you've talked to me. I hope that you've picked up on that. The economy was so, so good ahead of this coronavirus thing. It's very different than some of the other market events that we've had. Most of the time, the market events, the, ec the economy led us into a contraction standpoint. This is different. This is a medical event that happened on top of a really good foundation for the economy. And I think that's going to help us get out of it that much quicker and creates even more importance to stay hunkered down at this time. So. I mentioned we're going to get into uh, some of the facts and figures, and I'd be happy to email this to anybody. Just send me an email, I'll reply with it, and you can take a look in more detail. So here is, uh, since 1950, some of the research on the um, market expansions versus drops and contractions. 
So obviously the green mountains, which you see are much higher and last much longer. These are your bull market runs and these red uh, drawdowns, these are drops in the market. This is why it makes sense to be a long-term investor because the good stretched out over time outweighs the drops. And I don't see any reason why this would be any different. The other chart I want to go through today is why we don't want to try and time these markets. So, you know, it would be great if we could get out in the good times and then get back in at the worst of it, but it's just impossible. So this is going back 15 years. And if you miss the 10 best days in the market, only 10 days, the 10 best days in the market, which typically come during the initial part of the recovery. If you miss those 10 best days, your returns go from 9% average annual. Now this is all stock, so this is just to illustrate a point. 9% positive average annual. You miss the 10 best days, four, 4.1%. Just 10 days will cost you that much in average annual performance. So when I tell you that we wanna hunker down, this is one of the main reasons why. Um, so let's make sure that we're listening to the experts, um, identify who actually is an expert, who does have a vested interest in your success, and then follow that advice. Uh, as always, I'm here to answer any questions. Like I said, send me an email, give me a phone call. The one thing I can't do is I can't read your mind. So if you've had a conversation and some new information has come to light or you're just more concerned than you were before, if you don't tell me that, I won't know it and I, I won't be able to kind of help you through whatever the next steps might be. So if there's been any change since our last conversation or you just want to talk about it, and a lot of the conversations I'm, I'm having, we're not going through numbers, we're just, we're talking about it. And I want you to feel comfortable and calm as we eventually get through this thing, and we will. So I'm here for you. I'll help any way I possibly can. We can talk as often as you want. Uh, even if I'm forced to work from home, um, we'll be able to have conversations. So I'm here for you. We'll get through it. I hope everyone stays healthy, stays safe. And as always, thank you for watching.